way, eh, man? We've made it to Newcastle and... Um, what do you mean? We're in Newcastle and Lyme. I knew that. So they don't speak like that around here? No. All right, well, we made it to Newcastle under Lyme, so thanks for joining us. Saturday afternoon out. Uh, we've been told that there's a lot of pubs here and that we probably won't get through them all in one day. And you know that sounds like a challenge. And you know how much I like a challenge. Starting point of bowing horses. Here we go. A little pub to uh, start here. Have a look around. Uh, absolutely stunning. Uh, on the, on the, obviously, this is obviously right at the bottom, obviously down the outskirts of town and stuff. But yeah, it's uh, a very, very pleasant place to be starting. Newcastle so far. It was cheap as well. Uh, Newcastle underline so far. Liking it. Okay, after whew, what feels like a big uphill walk, uh, and we got under a massive great roundabout and stuff here, comes stop number two on our path today. Black Friar, it's a craft union. We're gonna go in and see if that wicked deal's on. A really good old pub this. Uh, you, can, you can tell by the unevenness of the floors, the wooden beams, stuff like that. So this is a proper craft union, proper nice old booze of this. Uh, everyone in here is really friendly, including Jody, who, uh, who has given us some great tips on where to go in Newcastle under Lyme. So yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna be a good day. I can feel it in my water already. Oh, it's reasonably easy to navigate Newcastle under Lyme. Uh, we've literally walked, we've walked again 100 yards up to stop number three, which is gonna be Mitchell's. Uh, and it does just seem dead easy to uh, to get from pub to pub. There's, there's another one next door and uh, there's a dog. So I'm sorry I'm distracted. You know what I get like when there's a dog. Uh, so yeah, Mitchell, stop three. Seems like Newcastle on the line is a bit of an early doors type one. Uh, there's karaoke going in there already, uh, which is which is fun to see. Great to see stuff like that. It's really busy for this sort of early doors time. It's really busy, isn't it? Nice to see. When I said that the pubs here were pretty close together, I meant they were pretty fucking close together because right next door uh, to Mitchell's is Hogarth's. So this is stop number four. I'm losing count already. It's going to be a good day. I've been joined by Des. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, his name's Rob, you know. He, he, he doesn't drink, so he drives everywhere, you know? Which is perfect for us. Uh, right, I don't know what it is with Hogarth, but it seems to say, and I usually get served wherever we go. The Tamworth one took forever to get served in, and we ended up with a, a little bit of a spat with the manager over the review we left. Uh, and this one we've, we've been in, it's a, it's, a, it's a lovely big old place again. Uh, like, up there, it is a, it's a whopping great, but yeah, it seems to just take forever to get served again, even when they're not busy. Must be a Hogarth thing. Maybe it's my face in Hogarth. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Uh, right, this is, this is, uh, you could get slaughtered around here. I'm loving it because right next door to Hogarth is uh, Darwin and Bear. And two doors down is the Golden Lion and there's a the gin. I'm loving this so far. It's pretty cool. So it's like a, it's like a cocktail bar, but it's uh, it's really nice, really plush, quite a bit gothic. But on the uh, on the old table that we're on, uh, you can you can play a load of different, uh, which is pretty cool for a console. But if you have a, it's just a place. And uh, Jody, who lives here, had never been in. So uh, not next door, two doors down, is the Golden Lion. So is it the Golden Lion next? But I'm a. Uh, We've literally, from where we started, we are 400 metres away from where we started and we're on pub six. This is like pub heaven. And I'm alright with it, I'm loving it. Craft Union pub number two of the day, but this one, yes, three blue wickets for six pounds. So it's gonna split me lagers up and me pale ales and me craft beers, you know, stop hating on me. I like a blue wicket, I can't help that. But yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's decent enough, uh, decent enough size boozer. Uh, late opener, 2 a.m. apparently. So yeah, I'm I'm really liking Newcastle so far. So that is a little wonder straight across the road from the Golden Lion there. Look. So I said this is going to be the seventh stop we've made, and we haven't been more than 400 yards or so so far. So Castle Town Distillery, apparently it's a gin distillery, make their own gin and stuff. I probably won't have one because it's a little bit early for gin, even for me. However, it looks nice. Uh, distillery, bar, shop, shop. Who knows what I might buy by the time I come out of here. It's, it's underground. Uh, it's a lovely little, so they, uh, little bit. But look at this in here. So this is where they make all their own uh, gins, ciders, or whatever else they make. But yeah, I'm very impressed. A, uh, a room bar, it's from Brew York. You know, it's from Brew York, so now I'm gonna like it anyway. But yeah, I'm about to have a, uh, a pale rhubarb something. From, uh, from Brew York, so well happy. Just about the shop, yeah, this is literally the shop behind me, which has got all the, uh, the different products. But I've been convinced by Jody to have, they brew the rums here. So I've got a coconut, a white coconut rum, and you've got an apple and caramel, apple and caramel. So we're gonna do this, we'll try these. Here we go. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that is really good. So yeah, these rums are brewed here in-house. That white coconut rum. 
That's so much nicer than Malibu. Wow. That is absolutely beautiful. So they're, they're doing a fine job with their, uh, with their distilling in here. Someone needs to teach me how to distill stuff because I've got a bathtub. So the next, the next port of call is Mellard, according to the sign up there. Uh, it's duck things. But surely you spell Mallard, M-A-L-L-A-R-D, don't you? I'm so confused by it. I'm not, I'm, I mean, it looks lovely, so, you know, I'm gonna be all right with it. I'm just dead confused by the duck and the spelling. I don't know, we'll find out in a minute. This place is pretty fucking cool, to be fair. Uh, so yeah, Mellard, it's, it's play on name, but look at this. Like, this place is like really, really cool. Uh, Got good on, stuff like that. Yeah, really nice, nice vibe in this place. And it's got this lovely, like, barn conversion type second room. Uh, we're in upstairs. Well impressed with it. This is the part of the video where I turn into a tourist and go, look at this absolutely wonderful looking town hall on my left. Um, we're on the way to a pub called Mallard's, which is going to be down a side street. We are going to have walked a full two minutes without having been in the pub. I mean, that's just not acceptable. Somebody needs to open one in between uh, where we've just come out of and, and the one we're going to. Because two minute, a two minute walk without a pub, without having cope with us. So, after what seemed like the longest walk in the world ever, it really wasn't that long a walk, but it's even started raining the time we're doing it, uh, we've come to the Crossways, which is about as far out of town as you can get, but it's our next port of call, uh, and then we're working our way back into the town and around. So, this one is the sister pub of uh, the one that we most liked in Hanley called Bottlecraft. And it's clear to see what it is. This is like that's what they've got on offer in here, which is pretty sick. Just a really decent place. And, and you know what I like all of the uh lovely stuff you can have from the bottle. What I had, kiss your homies goodnight. I had one of them in their sister pub and loved it. But today, something different. It's a I'm told it's a nine percent, it's a nine, it's a nine percent sour. And what's it called? Shattered dream cake. It's about to shatter all my dreams, I can tell. So we're gonna try this together. It's a vault city. It's a vault city. Oh, it's a vault city. Oh, well, they should have said. Well, I'm in. In like uh, so, it's a shattered dream cake. Oh my word. Oh, that's a dream cake. Oh my word. Vault City Brewing. I love you. We should talk. I absolutely love it in there. So it's no wonder that that is the sister pub to Bottle Craft from Hanley because so we absolutely love Bottle Craft. We absolutely love the Crossways. They're friendly. The selection is great. Vault City Brewing. I fucking love you. Um, please, please, please watch this video. Please sponsor us because it's great. Next stop, Spoons. We found a weather spoons. Uh, it's called the Arnold. Mick. Mi Arnold Mac. Mackin. Matchin. Matchin. Mitchell. Mitchell. This is Mackin. It's called the Arnold Mackin, I think. Yeah, standard spoons, to be honest. Uh, so we've settled on. It's called uh, the Arnold Makin. Uh, Makin, rather than Matchin, maybe. Um, yeah, standard spoons, busy as hell. Uh, still early doors, well, it's not even eight o'clock yet, is it? I don't think it's eight o'clock yet. So it's still, uh, it's still well early doors on a. Uh, I can't read those sort of. It's not, it's not even a digital watch. It's just a reading. Ten past, ten past seven. Ten past seven. But yeah, it's well busy. Uh, busiest boozer we've been in so far. Standing around, they can't get a seat. Uh, aside from that, you know, spoons, spoons, is spoons, isn't it? Uh, spoons in the rain. But the good news is, once again, it's not far to walk. Because there is a cocktail bar called Bloom right next door to Spoons. Uh, no, back out in the rain, they wouldn't fit us in for anything. Uh, literally told us they were fully booked and you, they wouldn't do a drink at the bar or anything like that, so we didn't bother. So, so when I come to the Georgian Dragon, so that's our next uh, craft unit, well decked out for Halloween. Yeah, it's well decked out for Halloween and stuff. Yeah. Well busy, it's still not 8 o'clock yet, it's 20 to 8. So it's nice, but the best news, the best news you can ever find in the craft union. Ah! Three for six quid. Ah! Right next door in the rain. I don't even care that it's raining because this is karaoke time. This is this is I've heard this is the karaoke king place to be. It's got the Iron Monkey, it's right next door to George and Dragon. And I go and uh, try and blag my way on some karaoke. This is our karaoke, it's one of the audience. Well I to. There's no karaoke in there. I'm sad. But I was sad! Until I found out that Newcastle has still got a Yates's. Who still has a Yates's? Apart from Manchester, I don't mean to offend. Who still has a Yates's? Everyone should have a Yates's. Because Yates's was wonderful. I was in Yates's on the Millennium Night 2000. In Bedford, not here, but you know. 
It's a funny story. Just uh, hear me because it's my video. All right. Listen to what I say and deal with it. So you know, I, I mean, I love a Yates's. But it's sad to see, but I mean, look at this. Like this is what I'm talking about. Like half the pumps, half the pumps got stuff missing on them. Half the pumps got the badges upside down. And it's just, it's one, of, it's one of those where it's sad because Yates is to me. Especially, I was in the Yates on Millennium Night. Yates yeah, is such a big trucking thing to me, and I love it. And it's there's so you find so few of them around the country. But it's really quiet. So, so you've just seen next door was absolutely buzzing, absolutely banging. And this is quite quiet. It's subdued. There's no music on. They could do a karaoke on a Saturday and actually milk it when no one else is doing a karaoke on a Saturday uh, in the town and get those punters in. And it feels a bit sad that there's it's so quiet. They're getting worse. Uh, so I'm getting where, uh, but a little bit around the corner from Yates is, is the Albert Hill. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. Around the corner from Yates is, is the old Bulls Head Inn. Where are we going next? It's karaoke! This one wasn't a lie, it really is karaoke! Look at Rob's excitement! It really is karaoke. So I might sing. <laughs> Jody's gone to buy a cigarette, so our tour guide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that thing I do again where I show you around the thing. But look at this! Look at this! It's got a little overhang. I love architecture and old buildings and uh, what I really like is my friends standing laughing at me. My wife and my friend are just laughing at me. But you know what? Sometimes it's nice to put a little bit of culture into the video. We didn't film my singing, which was immense by the way. We didn't film my singing, so you know what? Let's put a little bit of town culture in. Look over my shoulder at this building. There you go. That's why I do this. So, uh, Jody Category just told me this is the best boozer in, uh, oh shit, I wasn't supposed to say anything. Jody Category told me this is the best boozer in Newcastle Line Line, but I wasn't supposed to say anything. So, edit that bit out, pretend you didn't hear it. Uh, so, what we've come to is, it's the Bridge Street Ale House. And I have followed these guys on Facebook for a long time, so I've been well looking forward to this. So, best boozer in Newcastle, we'll find out. So, I've followed these guys on Facebook for a long, long time, and I've wanted to come here, and it is absolutely, it's, 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 it's And it is just, it's just pretty wicked. It's pretty wicked. Jody's convinced me that I need to have, a, what is this? Biscoff rum. A Biscoff rum. So, it's now an addition. This is an extra. It's not a drink, this is an extra. A Biscoff rum. It smells like cheesecake. Well, of course it's going to be in one. I won't do it in four, was I? Like, go on. Get on with it then. It's like being out with my mum. It's not, because my mum's dead, but you know. That's not cheesecake. That's not cheesecake. Mm. Oh, not, not spiced Biscoff rum. Oh, Bridge Street Our House. No, I love it now. Top up. I see why you said this is the best. I see why you said this is the best pub in, uh, in uh, Newcastle. Yeah. It is the best pub in Newcastle. I say yeah, but don't tell, anyone. Don't, tell anyone. don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone who said that. Don't tell anyone who said that. Hi, at the corner of my beady little eye, uh, I spotted the uh, specialising in bottle shop cider and periwinkle sipping room. It's called the Hot Water Cellar, and it's just over the road from Bridge Street Our House, which is sad. I don't want to spoil my streak, so this sounds right on my streak. So we're going to go in here. I'm so glad that we spotted this. It's absolutely wonderful. Just have a little look around. I've got a hot water cellar. Have a look. A little look at this. <gasps> There's some Neon Raptor in here, Dave. There's some Neon Raptor in here. And Dave, look, Dave, look, Dave, look. See? There's some Neon Raptor in here. But look at this. Look at the Volkses. Look. I love all of this. I love all of this. You can carry on talking, though, don't worry. Don't pretend. Just pretend I'm not here. Just pretend I'm not here. I'm feeling a bit of a thing. Oh, I can't do the thing. No, that's going with it. Don't, don't worry about me. <laughs> pretend I'm not even here, because most people do that, including my wife. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My wife pretends I'm not here most of the time. Absolutely wicked. Old so it's dead opposite that Bridge Street Owl House, which is absolutely fantastic anyway. What a great little part of town this is. I'm genuinely, I'm loving, I'm loving Newcastle and Alarm at the moment. Absolutely loving it. It might not be everybody's cup of tea, but that's right up my street, hot water cellar. Um, it wasn't Jodie's cup of tea, was it, Jodie? Nah, definitely not. She didn't, do, she didn't do the craft beer thing, but I had a wicked sour. Uh, they do a lot of Vault City can. Jodie's also bought me some kind of Vault City can. I don't know, take them. Uh, however, we are just about to come to the jug, which is the last one of the actual in in a inner city in a in a town, uh, parts of Newcastle, established in 1739. This, it's just the year I was born, uh, and it's called the Jug. So I'll be honest, it looks nice. So this is going to be pub number, I think, 16, 16 so far. I mean, we're pretty one in for a rock pub. Just bring over live music rock up. 
that brings us to that point of the night where we get to where we're like, well, there isn't anything else like there's only up until 11 that we can do. So, the other part, the other part of uh, Castle, as they call it around here, under, under Lime, there looks, like, there looks like there's about 11 or 12 pubs there, including the Rock one that we really wanted to go to. But you know what? We're going to leave it. We're going to make a sensible decision. We're going to leave it. Uh, and we, we've ended up back with Jody at the Black Friar that we were at earlier. Uh, because this is where our lift's picking us up for, oh, well, I say our lift, uh, Rob has been out of us anyway, it's where the driver is, where he's parked. Uh, we're gonna end up, we're gonna do it here, uh, and say that that was it for tonight. We're gonna come back to Newcastle, Newcastle, uh, and do the other half in one hit with 12. But, I mean, we've had a wicked time. Is it possible to have a good night in Newcastle and Alarm? Yeah, it fucking is. And I think it's probably good to have two nights out here because there's a, there's a load that we haven't even been to yet, and it's been wicked. It's been absolutely wicked. So, cheers guys, thanks for watching, hit subscribe, uh, Literally, I I like the whole Stoke area and around stuff here. Um, and we'll just keep going. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.